I'm out, new location, in this adorable pink dress. I don't love the pictures. Trying to think of what I can do differently. I'm basically just standing in front of a willow tree. It's a stunning tree, absolutely stunning. But something about it is just not, like, they're not, they're not spicy enough. Yeah, you feel me? I might wait for the sun to get a little lower and more orange, because right now it's kind of just like me. I love this dress, though. I originally had an outfit picked out for the Morgan Wallen concert that me and my boyfriend are going to, and it was just this, like, top from White Fox boutique, and it's, like, basically, like, this jean, like, corduroy type of, like, tan um, business we got going on, and it's, like, a really low cut, but then has, like, a tie. It's really cute. But I might wear this dress instead, but yeah, I'm just gonna go through, like, some ones that I like. I'll be back. I feel like for probably a month now, literally since spring started, I've been really stressed about like the content that I'm getting and it's because I just like care so much and I, I'm definitely putting a lot of pressure on myself for this year just because I'm not doing school so I'm like really pursuing this to the max. We're getting there but like that's the goal. I feel like recently I've been like really over stressing and not getting in touch with like my actual interests and creativity with it and I've just been trying to like shoot random outfits like random places and stuff like that rather than like doing a little more planning behind it so tonight was just kind of spontaneous but I did like I don't know I do this thing where I get clothes that I'm obsessed with but then I do not touch them until there is an occasion which is shit because then I go to all my like clothes that I don't love as much so tonight I was like you know what fuck that like I can shoot in this dress more than once I'm obsessed with this thing I did that I went and I shot it and I love the pictures let me give you a little sneak peek there's a bunch we'll run through Oh, oh. I'm literally obsessed with them. I don't even know if you could see that. I just got devoured by bugs, but they're really pretty like so I am obsessed with willow trees I don't really know why I just like grew up and I was like they're beautiful creations of mother nature and I literally cherish them And there's these two in front of this business in the in the town that I live in and I just like was eyeballing them this morning And I was like, okay like, I think we can work with that. And I love golden hour I've been like pink any pinks or white clothing in golden hour that's lighting that really does well for me. I have a hard time in daylight because it's like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. And I still have a lot of anxiety and like I haven't really gotten comfortable with my boyfriend taking pictures of me yet. So it's mostly solo. Yeah, overall, I'm just really proud of myself for coming here, even though it's on the main road. And I'm sure some of you saw me and that's fine because I'm doing what I need to do. Okay, goodbye. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I know we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I I just went and I did my workout. My camera died midway. I've been walking after my workouts pretty much every day and I just go on the treadmill. But since it's finally warm out, I think it was like 50 degrees this morning or something. I went around in the town that my gym is and just like walked through the neighborhoods and it was so dreamy. I don't even know. There were just like so much greenery, so many flowers. The lighting was just beautiful. The sunshine, oh my gosh. I just like so needed that. And I'm excited that I have a spot that I like to walk now because that was like an uncomfortable thing to like find somewhere to walk when you're just not familiar with the area. But I did it, so I'm just so excited now to do that every day, especially when it gets like really hot. Um, it's gonna be a good like sweat workout. I just feel so good, and it's our one year, me and Drew's one year, so I'm gonna go and eat and shower, get dressed, and then I'm gonna go pick him up, and we're doing a little beach day and just hanging out. Unfortunately, I have to work later, 
so it kind of sucks. I couldn't get my shift covered, so we can't like do a full full day, but I'll just be gone for like three or four hours. But he leaves tomorrow to go home, so we're really trying to make the most of this time. And I hope that it's really warm at the beach. It's supposed to be like 70 something today, but obviously it's still like early May, so the water's gonna be freezing, but like I'm so down to go in if he is. I'm gonna go get ready, eat. I will see you in a minute. I am on my way to go pick up my boyfriend and it is my car says 75 but I think it's probably like 65 to 70 right now it is absolutely gorgeous and the air feels amazing the wind feels amazing I'm wearing this little knit halter top and then jean shorts and I have on a bikini underneath I'm so excited to go to the beach but I just feel so content that walk really just started me off on the right foot and I took a nice shower, I feel confident. I'm just like so ready to hit the day and just celebrate our love together. I really like admire how we met because it was last spring when I was about to go to Italy at the end of the summer and I was so in the mindset of like, I literally do not want to meet anyone because how is that gonna work? Like I hate long distance and stuff. And I was like pretty, I don't know, I didn't really have my walls up but I just definitely wanted to just be able to enjoy my Italy experience and not have to think about a boy back home. But he just came at the right time because I just, I think I didn't want a boyfriend but I definitely was ready for one and it was just the right time for us to meet because he was going through stuff too and we basically just like healed each other and have been growing ever since and it's just so awesome to meet someone, especially so unexpectedly. He came at such the right time and I'm just so grateful that we met when we did. And I was going through so much like friendship stuff so he just like filled the place as my best friend. It's just what we needed. I'm gonna go pick him up, enjoy this drive, enjoy some country music. We got the sunroof open, getting the vibes going. Ha, ha, ha. 